Do you know what's not part of a balanced breakfast? Snoop Dogg cereal. At least according to Walmart. Walmart's been hiding Snoop cereal from us, which is why Snoop Dogg is now suing the company. Why would anyone eat Fruit Loops when you can eat Fruity Hoops? And although fans were looking for this cereal, it was nowhere to be found. It was at this moment when people realized something was seriously wrong. Despite Walmart's contractual obligations, the shelves were still empty. But Walmart also made another critical mistake. Snoop Dogg alleges that Walmart raised the prices of Snoop's hoops, making it unaffordable for the average consumer. Therefore, a $10 box of cereal did not align with the company's mission. And although one of the goals of any brand is to make money, Snoop's cereal was founded with a different purpose. You see, Snoop Dogg helped found a company called Broadus Foods. But with Broadus Foods, Snoop Dogg was trying to promote diversity in the food industry. Broadus Foods was marketed as a family-owned business. Furthermore, a representative for the company stated that Broadus Foods aims to inspire economic empowerment among minorities and contribute to charitable causes addressing hunger and homelessness. And despite the company's financial incentives, this is where Walmart made a crucial error. In addition to manipulating the pricing, Walmart hid product in the back of the store. To make matters worse, incriminating videos of empty shelves started hitting social media. Fans were hungry to find the world's biggest stoner's favorite snacks. Yet somehow, Walmart was able to dodge this PR nightmare. And although there was plenty of inventory, Walmart always told consumers online that they were out of stock. Despite these deceptive business practices, it wasn't until a full-on investigation that people got the answers they needed. At multiple Walmart locations, several boxes were found in the stock rooms. However, what was more suspicious was that the barcodes were altered on the product to make sure that Snoop cereal was never placed on shelves. But despite this criticism, Walmart deflected. They argued that Snoop cereal failed because consumer demand did not meet expectations. To address the public, Walmart stated that many factors affect the sales of any given product. They attributed product failure to consumer demand, the seasonality of the product, and the price. So why would Walmart try to stop the success of Snoop cereal? Well, interestingly enough, Walmart wanted to buy the company outright. And Snoop Dogg wasn't having it. So it's not a stretch to see why Snoop's lawyers see this as a vicious act of revenge. The irony is, is that when you hide something from the internet, you end up making it bigger. Which begs the question, what else is Walmart hiding from us? I guess the only way someone could find out would be sneaking into the back of their local Walmart. But I don't know if we're ready for the truth. Eat some cereal and follow the madness.